can you please guide us on the right order of study for higher level exams like we have got good amount of guidance for the basic papers like uh, the order of giving the first five to six exams but once those uh, once a student they start working and then basically they have a full time job and they are very much confused they get mixed advice that uh, you should give SP first uh, SP first and then CP 1, 2, 3 and then uh, SA and someone says uh, you give CP2. So, what is the correct order as per you? So, I think the order for higher level exam, it, it's really custom made. It has to be tailored according to you. The kind of work that you do, how much time you're able to take, up, take out from work at that moment, I think it really depends on that. Um, so, uh, again, uh, different things work for different people. I have seen people taking all kind of combination and uh, successfully clearing those. For example, I personally also took the SP level exams before clearing the CP1 exam and my approach was to like combine one theory paper with a, a practical paper. So I took uh, SP8 along with CP3, SP7 along with CP2. So that depends on you. So for, for example, if, if, if any particular term, the work is particularly hectic, you might go for a less uh, extensive one such as uh, CP2 or CP3. And whenever you feel like you have ample time, you can opt for CP1. So just customize the higher level papers according to you, that should work. Okay. So the students, they're very scared about any particular exam. They often feel that there is a very long hours of study, like they need to study 8 to 10 hours every day, or maybe they need to spend 6 to 7 months for every exam, or maybe 5 to 6 months for every exam. So what is the ideal time that a student should spend with their actual books every day and what is the ideal time in months to complete the course and get through with the exam with good amount of knowledge? So um, I, I think um, it's, it's always good to like start early um, studying for any exam instead of waiting till the last month. Um, because um, if, you, if you study daily a little that is much better than just trying to cover everything in the last month. So try to start three months before the exams, two and a half to three months at least before the exams. And on a daily basis, if you are consistent, uh, then I think three to four hours is is good enough. Especially if you are working, um, it's highly unlikely that you will be take out, able to take out more than that alongside work. So uh, that much is sufficient given that you are consistent in your studies and. Do try to create a routine and stick to it and um, if for some reason say you are not able to complete something on weekdays, try to cover it up on weekends. So um, like that, uh, I think this much is sufficient for the, any exam. Okay, so like uh, as far as uh, like what I have been able to uh, make a point is 3 to 4 hours, like for a student it might increase to 6 hours and 3 to 4 months is sufficient yeah. for the exams to get uh, done, right? Okay.